Area high school baseball is on the air. Every week, Eagle 102 brings you the best of area high school sports. On air at 102.1, online at kjfmradio.com and on the KJFM radio app. Now to the diamond for high school baseball on your area sports leader, KJFM radio. Ross with you here this afternoon for baseball as the Bowling Green Bobcats welcome in the North Callaway Thunderbirds and uh, and a whole lot of other schools if you look behind us. There's a <laughs> lot going on at Bowling Green here today, Jim. Yeah, that there is. I pulled up and I said, "Where's it? Why, why is there no place to park? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 you know how early I get here and I, I had to park a country mile away. So uh, there's a track and field meet going on behind us. So that's exciting. Uh, but we're focused on uh, the diamond in front of us and uh, baseball this afternoon. We saw Bowling Green once a couple of weeks ago as they uh, uh, took care of uh, Louisiana. And uh, they'll have the same pitcher out there today in uh, uh, Caden Chandler. And he was impressive in his uh, first outing uh, at Louisiana. He's, a, he's definitely a, a hard-throwing uh, pitcher, uh, a fastball pitcher. Uh, seemed to struggle a little bit when he tried to change up speeds, but uh, uh, he was impressive against the Bulldogs. You know, early in the season like this, you throw hard, throw strikes. That's half the game right there. And if he can do that, uh, they'll have a good chance at success. These teams should be uh, two of the teams in the upper half of the UMO Conference in baseball this year, and uh, so we, had, we should have a good matchup this afternoon. It's the Bobcats and the North Callaway Thunderbirds. We'll start the pregame show for you next here on Eagle 102. As many as 50% of people don't take their medication as prescribed. Some never even fill their prescription, even if they don't feel well. Missing or not taking medication can be deadly. For questions about medication, your local Health Mart pharmacy is here to help. For fast, friendly service and affordable prices every day, visit your local Health Mart pharmacy, Bowling Green Pharmacy, located right on the square at 8 North Court in Bowling Green. Hi County, Missouri Health Department is accepting appointments for upcoming COVID vaccination clinics. Appointments can be made online at www.pikecountyhealth.org or by calling our office at 573-324-2111. These will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Stay up to date with more clinics by subscribing to our PCHD e-news. If you do not have Internet access, please call our office and ask how we can help you stay informed. Need a little good news in your life? State Farm has new, lower car insurance rates in Missouri, so you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Cindy Blaylock at an even better price. Call me today at 573-754-5575. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Show off your school pride today with the Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Every time you use your Bulldog Debit Card, Bank of Louisiana will make a donation to the Louisiana School District. Stop by the bank today and get your new Bulldog Debit Card so you can start supporting the teachers and students with every swipe. The Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Member FDIC. Bringing you all the action from the Eagle 102 Broadcast Booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. It's time now for the Eagle 102 Pre-Game Show. Sponsored by Bowling Green Pharmacy. It's the Bowling Green Bobcats and the North Callaway Thunderbirds this afternoon. Mark Cronick, Jim Ross here at Bowling Green High School. About uh, 10, 12 minutes away from the action here from Bowling Green. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Can't find much as far as stats here in the uh, early going. For no, these no, neither neither coach willing to put out the uh, scouting report right here early in the season. Uh, I find that actually quite humorous that the coaches do that. But, hey, you know, that's why we're up here and there down there, right? Exactly. And uh, congratulations, by the way, to uh, one of the Bowling Green coaches, Austin Leake. Uh, he'll actually be leaving the uh, district uh, next year to take over as head football coach at Mark Twain. So I yeah. uh, shared congratulations with him while he was up here messing with the sound system earlier. <laughs> His alma mater. Yeah, that's uh, that's going to be a good opportunity for Austin. Yeah, absolutely. That program's kind of been on the upswing here over the last four or five years. And He's going to get a chance to go back and try and take it to the next level. So good luck to him. So there's our, our football talk for the night. Uh, North Callaway out there uh, warming up right now. Uh, but uh, the Bowling Green defense, uh, that's uh, that's been a, a good uh, point for uh, the Bobcats so far this year. They, they're pretty well stacked out there at, at every position. Yeah, you know, you throw strikes and you don't give up extra outs. We talked about it a lot during the softball season. Uh, it's even more important in baseball just because it's harder to throw strikes. I mean, in, in the baseball games that I've covered anyway, it seems like nowadays the every 
girls softball team, you've got a good pitcher. Yeah. That's not necessarily the case in baseball right now because I don't think the kids play as much as they used to. And you've got a, 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 a long line of travel league softball programs in the area uh-huh. that, that the girls go play. Baseball, you got to travel a little more if you want to get a travel baseball deal. And so you don't see the, the polish maybe that you see in softball. Plus, uh, the initial rules with pitch counts. You, you just can't throw a guy out there for seven innings anymore unless he's, you know, striking out the side every bearing, inning. Bearing down on the strike zone, yeah, which which goes back to what we mentioned about Chandler. Throw strikes, throw hard, throw strikes. You know, if you can mix in a breaking ball or a change every once in a while, so be it. But you want him in the game as long as you can keep him in the game as hard as he throws. It's uh, Bowling Green and North Callaway. More of the pregame show coming up for you next on Eagle 102. It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. During the process, I'll work closely with your lender and other professionals to make it as effortless as possible. I'm here with you every step of the way, so when you're ready to buy or sell, call me and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Bowling Green Tractor wants to change the way you think about yard work with their Ego 56-volt arc lithium battery-powered lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, trimmers, and chainsaws. At Bowling Green Tractor, you can walk in and see for yourself just how easy these products are to handle. Bowling Green Tractor, your home for Ego. Power beyond belief. As many as 50% of people don't take their medication as prescribed. Some never even fill their prescription, even if they don't feel well. Missing or not taking medication can be deadly. For questions about medication, your local Health Mart pharmacy is here to help. For fast, friendly service and affordable prices every day, visit your local Health Mart pharmacy, Bowling Green Pharmacy, located right on the square at 8 North Court in Bowling Green. Time now for the Eagle 102 Keys to the Game on KJFM, sponsored by Vicki Cadwallader Real Estate in Louisiana. I think we've kind of mentioned it. Uh, it's the same thing we, we talked about uh, before our, our first uh, broadcast of the year, throw strikes. Yeah, throw strikes and don't give up extra outs. Uh, I mean, that's the key to baseball. It doesn't matter what game we're playing, whether exactly. it's early in the year or late in the year. But uh, uh, one thing I notice is interesting about the field, they've got a nice grass infield and outfield here, but the grass is a little tall. It's been dry, so it's a little hard. But particularly in the outfield, you know, you're going to be able to play a little more shallow because the ball is going to die in the long grass. Uh, so maybe you can cut down on, on some of those uh, blooper hits. Plus, the wind's blowing in from right field, uh, which is opposed to when we play softball here. It's blowing straight out uh-huh. with the same wind direction. So it's blowing hard enough. It'll affect the balls in the air, too. So the players are going to have to be aware of that. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a Wrigley effect uh, here with the uh, long uh, infield grass for sure. Those are our keys to the game. We'll have starting lineups for you next on KJFM. This is Kyle Turner, Assistant Vice President at Community State Bank of Missouri. We offer a variety of loans to meet your needs. Whether you're looking for a conventional loan or a HELOC or an FHA, VA, or USDA loan, give us a call. We have some of the best rates around. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Sailor and Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Hey, this is Ryan with Mid-America Auto and Towing in Bowling Green, and we've got the lot looking good and ready to go. We've got something for everybody's budget. We have a constant rotation of new inventory, including cars, trucks, and SUVs. So if you're out and you're looking for a new car, come by and see me. Mid-America Auto and Towing, just off Highway 54 in Bowling Green, is a one-stop shop. Like us on Facebook or check out our website, midamericaautoandtowing.com. As many as 50% of people don't take their medication as prescribed. Some never even fill their prescription, even if they don't feel well. Missing or not taking medication can be deadly. For questions about medication, your local Health Mart pharmacy is here to help. For fast, friendly service and affordable prices every day, visit your local Health Mart pharmacy, Bowling Green Pharmacy, located right on the square at 8 North Court in Bowling Green. The Eagle 102 starting lineups on KJFM are sponsored by Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy. And our starting lineups as Bowling Green hosts North Callaway. We'll start with the uh, lineup for the 
North Callaway Thunderbirds. They'll lead it off with the designated hitter today, number 32, uh, Davis Woods. Uh, then in the second spot is the third baseman, number 18, Sam Beasold. Batting third, the shortstop, number two, Braden O'Neill. In the cleanup spots, the right fielder, number 21, Kyle Pinnell. Uh, batting fifth is the first baseman, number three, Christian Griffith. Six spot belongs to center fielder number one, Jackson Altheiser. Uh, batting seventh is the catcher, Austin Taylor. He wears number nine. In the eighth spot is the pitcher. Uh, that's number four, Jacob Morris. And batting ninth is the second baseman, number 16, Bryce Clark. And uh, the, I guess, flex player, if you will, is out there in left field, number 22, Peyton Olson. So, again, it's Woods, Pease, Old O'Neill, Pinnell, Griffith, Altheiser, Taylor, Morris, and Clark, the batting order with Olsen playing defense only out there in left field. And for the Bowling Green Bobcats, their lineup shapes up like this. They'll lead it off with the center fielder, number 42, Clay Lazier. Batting second, the shortstop, number 30, Owen Niemeyer. In the three spot is the catcher, number nine, Cooper Keel. Guys up here say he's on a bit of a tear lately, so look out for his bat. Pitcher bats clean up, number four, Caden Chandler. The third baseman in the five spot, number 19, Cody Pogue. Batting six, the first baseman, number 24, Tristan Charlton. Batting seventh, the second baseman, number 18, DJ Feldman. In the eighth spot is the center fielder, number 20, uh, number 12, Braden Heidecker. And batting ninth is the designated hitter, number 35, Will Twelman. Flexing in the right field is number 25, Adam Engel. So again, the Bobcats order goes Lazier, Niemeyer, Keel, Chandler, Pogue, Charlton, Feldman, Heidecker, and Twelman with Engel in right field. Those are your starting lineups. We'll have first pitch uh, just minutes away. Did you have something? Well, I was going to give you a little stats. If you oh, you got stats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt Jane's the head coach for Bowling Green. Zeth Levy for, for North Callaway. You look at the lineup or look at the records. Uh, Bowling Green's one and three. North Callaway two and four. North Callaway hasn't won a game on at home and is two and zero oh on the road. Interestingly enough, mm-hmm. Louisiana. This is their home opener. Bowling Green that, or Bowling Green is, is their home opener. So that's a little bit unusual too. Uh, Bowling Green's only win was uh, the first game of the season at Louisiana. Then they played. Pretty tough schedule. Centralia, Ellsbury, and Palmyra are two, uh, three quality clubs. For North Callaway, uh, they played Kirksville, Fulton, Blair Oaks, all good clubs, and yeah. lost to them. Wright City, a little bit of a surprise. They lost to Wright City, uh, six to nothing. Uh, so both teams, even though the record's not the best, they played quality competition. Anthem being played, we'll have our first pitch next for you on KJFM. Is it time to renew, redo, or rebuild? I'm Christine Rutherford, and we have loans designed specifically for repairs and renovations, along with home equity lines of credit. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender, MLO number 421603, and MLS number 407724. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of the community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There's one right here. HealthMart pharmacists have a personal commitment to their communities because just like you, they support their community. HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Louisiana is a HealthMart town. Family Drug HealthMart Pharmacy. The right people, the right price, right downtown. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. I'm Tylee Mills, the CEO of Pike County Memorial Hospital. You've heard it from your friends, family, and even neighbors. They choose Pike County Memorial Hospital. Quality care from quality people. Pike County Memorial Hospital. Bundle at Pike County Mutual Insurance and save. Ask about the great rates on your personal vehicle, farm trucks, big or small, or even your motorcycle and side-by-sides. Stop by and see myself, Corey Buchanan, Buddy Bibb, or Kathy Gam at your hometown insurance company since 1895. Pike County Mutual Insurance on the square in Bowling Green. The Mercantile Bank of Louisiana is introducing Merc BK Mobile. With the ability to take a picture of your check and deposit it into your Mercantile Bank account, you'll never have to worry about getting to the bank. Find more information by visiting MercBK.com. The Mercantile Bank, located on the corner of 3rd and Georgia Streets in downtown Louisiana. Member FDIC. Your most complete coverage of area high school sports is on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Pike County Memorial Hospital, Cellular and Satellite Center, and Abel's Quick Shots. Welcome back to Bowling Green. Getting ready for first pitch here as the uh, teams still uh, haven't taken the field, but we'll set the defense for you for Bowling Green across the outfield. It's Lazier and left, Heinecker in center, and Engel 
is in right. On the infield, the third baseman is Pogue. Shortstop is Niemeyer. Feldman at second base and Charlton over at first. Keel behind the plate and getting ready to take his warm-up tosses is number four, Caden Chandler. And uh, Bowling Green wearing a uh, uniform combo number 36 today. That's uh, <laughs> white pants and uh, red tops with black letters on the back. T-shirts. Yeah. T-shirts. A little cooler. A little warm day today. Bowling Green's uh, averaging eight and a half runs a game, giving up 7.8, while North Callaway averages six and a half runs and is giving up eight and a half. So statistically, pretty evenly matched. And uh, so it's going to come down to see who can put the ball in play and throw it over the plate, right? Exactly. That's uh, that's the, the key to any game is uh, uh, throw strikes and play defense. Get a key hit here and there, maybe a little... Maybe a little uh, pop for excitement, right? Yeah, good night for baseball. A little, like we said, the wind's blowing at a pretty good clip from right, uh, but the temperature's ideal. And you'll hear some noise in the background from the track meet, I'm sure. I think it's junior high, isn't it? I think so. I've got so old, I can't tell whether they're junior high or high school. Is it it's high it, school? Okay. It is high school. Well, there's, See? A, there's, a lot <laughs> there of, there's a lot of schools here, <laughs> that's for sure. As uh, Chandler continues his warm-up tosses, and now the throw goes down, and it's time for our first pitch as Davis Woods, the designated hitter, will dig in. He wears number 32. Two up, 32. As Woods. Zeth Levy takes his spot in the third base coaching box. For North Callaway. Woods, a lefty, sophomore. Thunderbirds in the green with white pants. Good-looking uniform. And the first pitch from Chandler is in the dirt off the plate for ball one. So we're underway. like that new scoreboard here. Yeah, that's nice. At uh, Bowling Green. Has the full score by inning. There's a swing and a miss to even things up at one and one. Get a pitch. Put these young lads to the test up here with us to see if they can keep up properly on the scoreboard. Well, I think oh, they, they moved, moved it down it, there? Yeah, they moved it down oh, to, the, uh, okay. to the dugout. Aren't they clever? That one sails up high. Two and one the count to the leadoff batter, Woods. He tries to get something started here in the top of the first inning on the road. Two one is swung on and missed. Curveball in yeah. the dirt. And, uh, talked about, dropped out. Talked about his off speed uh, in the first game that, that you saw and I listened to against Louisiana. Had trouble with that pitch. And it may have been the, uh, the cold a little bit, uh, yeah. messing with his grip. It was pretty brisk. <laughs> Sales out. We've got a full count to the leadoff batter. I'm guessing down there in the hole at Louisiana, you guys were a little bit chilly. I uh, I dressed accordingly. That one just misses up high, and it's a leadoff walk to Woods. So the first base runner of the ball game. Good. Well, that's going against our keys to the game right out of the gate, right? Exactly. Now we'll see if they've got any speed. Stolen base, a thing of the past. <laughs> Don't see much of uh, that Bowling anymore. Bowling Green did some running in their first game of the season. It'll bring in Peasold, the third baseman. With a runner on and nobody out. We'll play him a little bit in front of the base at third. Watching out for the sacrifice. Runners going on the first pitch. Throw down is high and into center field. Won't get far enough to advance the runner any further. It's a stolen base for Woods. Okay. Forget what I just said about stolen bases. I, I was wondering because he put on a bunch of uh, <laughs> gear on his arm uh, to protect him on slides. Yes, that he did. That's just, that's a modern thing, too. Exactly. So a runner in scoring position now with nobody out and bunt in the air. Back on it is Keel, and he makes the catch in front of the screen for the first out of this ball game. Nice play by Keel right up against the screen. That helps. Yes, it does. So one out now, and it'll bring in O'Neal. He's the shortstop. Where's number two bats from the right-hand side? And the first pitch to him is on the corner for strike one. Good-looking breaking ball there away from the right-handed hitter. And you just you don't know how much, if any, scouting's gone on this early in the season. They set up outside again and again on the corner with the fastball this time, and it's 0 2. So Chandler going right after Braden O'Neill with one out and a runner in scoring position. 0 2. And the next, right down the middle for a strike three. First strikeout 
looking no less and all speed pitch as well he had him tied up that's for sure the knees locked a little bit and now there's a runner at second with two outs so what better to get way to get out of a little jam than a bunt pop up and a strikeout right exactly kyle pinnell the cleanup hitter will try and do some two out damage he's hit by the first pitch he sees so there's runners at first and second with two outs and you don't want to get it in two out trouble up and in that time and didn't make a terrible effort to get out of the way. The home plate umpire brought the ball all the way out to Chandler, and I'm wondering. I think somebody said something, maybe? Possibly. Early in the game like this? I think they're going to check on him, make sure. Yeah, right. He's, yeah, he got it on the elbow. I think. hit him on the crazy bone. So a little uh, high bone, I guess they call it. Delay as uh, Zeth Levy goes over to talk to his cleanup hitter. Two outs, runners at first and second, and he'll walk around a little bit and try and get the feeling back in his fingertips. You know, we talked about pitch counts in high school. They changed that rule, what, two years ago? Mm -hmm. Used to be able to throw 10 innings in three days, and now they've gone to pitch count, and that doesn't uh, breed any opportunity for fudging the stats, does it? No. <laughs> Yeah, I always wondered when you institute rules that you can't police, how are they ever going to work? Somebody will say something. Yeah, but where's the evidence? Is, <laughs> is the visiting team keeping track of the pitch count? Is that how it works? I want to hit uh, with the curveball. Hits right. Christian Griffith in the head, and the bases are loaded. Doesn't seem to have phased him. It was an off-speed pitch, and... In the home plate umpire comes out and walks him back to the mound. So Altizer will be the batter. Jackson, the number six hitter in the order, and the center fielder. So he hasn't thrown a lot of pitches, but he's in a heap of trouble here with two outs. Yeah, and his control, you know, you mentioned it was pretty good in the uh, opening game of the year, having trouble here in the first. Mm hmm. And the first pitch to Altizer is right down the middle for strike one. And, you know, both pitches that hit the batters for off speed and having a little trouble with the control of that. That one in the dirt, one and one the count. At least they were the first pitch of the at-bat. It wasn't like you got hit by a 3-2 pitch. Right, right. The one one. On the corner, strike two. Looked a little low, got the call. Now the one two count. Uh, Kyle's got to be a good backstop back there and not let the ball get away from him if it's, if it's a curveball. One, two, swing and a miss. He gets out of it. Still the gas. As they are able to pitch around the two hit batters and the uh, leadoff walk, and we go to the bottom of the first inning. Bowling Green coming up, no score on KJFM. Ingram Plumbing has always been known for its outstanding plumbing service. But did you know that Ingram's is also the largest retail plumbing supply store in the area? We carry Delta faucets, a complete line of Whirlpool tubs and showers, jacuzzi pumps, and many other specialty items. Stop by Ingram Plumbing today, Highway 61 Bowling Green. Here's one question that has no wrong answer. Are you going to choose the new Shell and Fuel Rewards card to be used at Shell stations or the Shell and Fuel Rewards MasterCard that can be used everywhere MasterCard is accepted? With both, you save 10 cents per gallon up to 20 gallons every time you fill up. And you also earn 10% rebates on your first $1,200 in non-fuel purchases per year at Shell stations. See? You can't go wrong with either. Visit www.shell.us slash get rewards and apply today. At participating Shell stations only, terms and conditions apply. Follow area high school sports on air, online, on the KJFM radio app, and on Alexa. Brought to you by Young Enterprises, Family Drug, and Brown Smokehouse Meats. Back at Bowling Green, let's set the defense for the North Callaway Thunderbirds. Across the outfield, it's Olsen in left, Alsizer in center, and Pinnell is in right. Pease holds the third baseman, O'Neill at short. Clark is the second baseman. Over first is Griffith. Behind the plate is Austin Taylor and Jacob Morris completing his warm-up tosses now for the North Callaway Thunderbirds. It's like Norris, a tall drink of water. Has a little velocity. 
and he throws strikes. I noticed I walked in with a baseball representative. I don't know if he's a coach from Westminster here scouting. So he's looking at somebody on one of these teams. As Morris continues to throw his warm-up tosses for Bowling Green in the first, it'll be Lazier, Niemeyer, and Keel. If anyone gets on, Chandler. As the throw goes down, we're ready for baseball here in the bottom of the first inning. Morris, just a junior. As is Chandler, so both pitchers are juniors. And both wear number four. There you go. So let's see if Bowling Green can get the bats going. They scored uh, 12 runs last night at Palmyra and got beat 14-12. to 12. So they have been banging the ball around a little bit. First pitch is filed back to the screen. Lazier, Sands batting gloves. Bats from the right-hand side. Where's the Jackie Robinson 42? What'd you call that? Sands batting gloves? Yeah, he doesn't have any on. Understood. I understood. <laughs> my, my. It's baseball season. We get fancy. That it is. This one stroked over the second baseman and into right field. It's a leadoff hit for Lazier. And Bowling Green has something going here in the... First inning. First hit of the game by either club. And Lazier aware of the grass in the outfield. His right field is pretty shallow. He he hustled down the line to try and make sure he didn't get thrown out at first from the right fielder. Well, look out because Lazier, uh, Lazier might do some running here early in the count. As He's got some Niemeyer speed. digs in. I want a little waggle there as he gets ready for the first pitch he sees today. And taking on the inside corner for strike one. Hit and run, another thing you don't see much anymore. Is that going to be the reverse jinx? And <laughs> yeah. Here it comes, right? Oh, on the count to Niemeyer. The pitch from Morris on its way, showing bunt, and he puts it a perfect one down the first baseline. Going to be close at first. He is out, but he moves the runner over. Batting three, number nine, Cooper Keel. And that's one away. Great bunt by Niemeyer that time down the first baseline and got it into the grass, which made the catcher have to come and get it. It almost hit him in the heel, which would have it was close. deadened uh, that ball. And he'd have been out. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a play at first, and the runner would have froze. So that brings in Cooper Keel. Let's see what he can do with the runner in scoring position and one down. Bounces one in. The runner will advance to third as Lazier goes over there standing up. A couple of big claps as he joins Matthew Jane over there. Wild pitch that time by Morris. Bowling Green looking to jump ahead here in the home half of the first inning. The 1-0 pitch. It's fouled back to the screen, 1-1. One one. Good rip there from Cooper. He's got a little pigtail coming out of the back of that helmet. We think it is a headband or something? I think so. Do-rag? Yeah. Catchers are a funny bunch. Had a good rip at that one, though. Right on it. One ball, one strike. And from the stretch, Morris delivers, and it's grounded weakly between first and home. And they play it first. He is out. The run comes in. So a productive out. Or did they call him safe? They called him safe. Ooh, it looked like they got him by a step. But it is an RBI infield hit. And it is. Swing, swing bunt, if you will. And they did call him safe. Give him an RBI. And Bowling Green's on top. one nothing. one nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. And that'll bring in the pitcher, Chandler. And this one has popped past us and toward the track. Look out. Track stars. That'd be a shocker if you were coming around the back stretch and get clunked with a baseball. Uh-huh. <laughs> Owen won the count. The next, that one right off the top of the screen. That was coming right for us. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I've lost equipment here before. <laughs> well, you didn't bring your glove? What the heck? Harry? Well, I'm inside. Harry, Harry, what the heck? What I'll bring mean? the old Ozzy Smith net. How about that? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Owen to the count. One down, runner at first, and that one goes over the head of Chandler. Yeah, Chandler elected to not take the route of Pennell and let it, or Griffith, I should say, and let it hit him in the yeah. head. He, he ducked out of the way. All on two strikes. 
And on the corner, strike three called. I don't know if the home plate umpire knew that was strike three. He didn't ring him up, did he? He was very nonchalant with that uh, strike call. And that'll bring in Cody Pogue here in the bottom of the first with two outs and a runner at first. One nothing Bowling Green. Single by Lazier, infield hit, drove him in. And that's high for ball one to Pogue. Against Louisiana, it was definitely the top five in the order that did all the damage against the Bulldogs. Pogue Jr. That one low, 2 0. Oh. I think we've got two pitchers here. If they settle in, uh, we could have a nice little pitcher's duel here this afternoon. I've got no problem with that. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes these high school baseball games carry on a while. On the white, called strike two. It's one ball, two strikes to Pogue. Yeah, they took the black off the corners. What's that all about? Yeah. What's the word coming to? <laughs> two balls and a strike. That one fouled back to the screen. Up and in that time, may have swung at a ball. Had a good rip at it, however. Yes, he did. Just missed. They're playing him pretty shallow all the way around in the outfield. But this is a big ballpark. It is, and with the wind blowing in from right, you're not going to you're going to have to pound one to hit it over the right fielder's head. Here's another. That one outside. It's thrown a first and if the first baseman was playing even with the bag, that's an out. But he was four steps in front. Yeah, they had him wandering off a little bit that time. Chandler able to get back in with the head first slide. Morris ready with another. Swing and a miss. And the inning comes to an end. Bowling Green scores a run on a pair of hits. They leave one there at first base. We head to the second inning. one nothing Bobcats over North Callaway on Eagle 102. Farmers, the crew at Mike's Tire and Service Center is here to serve you. They know the hours you put in, which makes it difficult to get that equipment in for service. Therefore, they offer on-the-farm tire repair. Hi, folks. My name is Cody Kirkendall of Mike's Tire and Service Center, located on Business Highway 61 in Bowling Green. It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. During the process, I'll work closely with your lender and other professionals to make it as effortless as possible. I'm here with you every step of the way, so when you're ready to buy or sell, call me and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Bowling Green jumps ahead in the home half of the first. We head to the second. And it's one nothing Bobcats for North Callaway in this inning. It's going to be the bottom of the order, right? Sure is. It's going to be Taylor, Morris, and Clark. 7 8 9 We'll lead it off with the catcher, Austin Taylor. As soon as... Chandler is done with his warm-up tosses. I see they have the pitch count on the scoreboard. Do they have that now? How yes, about they that? Do, yeah. Actually, they're waiting on the the catcher, Cooper Keel, who is at first base, to get his gear back on, and now he will take his spot behind the plate. And he'll catch one, throw it down, and we'll be ready to play ball once again. Number nine. Well, maybe two. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that uh, Chandler's ready to go. As they throw it around the infield a little bit. Now it comes back in. And Taylor will dig into the right-hand batter's box. Two hit batsmen and a walk in the first four. The Thunderbirds have yet to really make any solid contact. He went up there looking like he wants to hit one to the learning center. <laughs> Starting him off with a curveball was a little bit outside. 1-0. and That one's high. 2-0. That one hits the palm of the glove of Chandler and rolls away, so he has to step off and regroup. The 2-0 pitch. Swung on and missed. There's a bullet for you. That was a high, hard one, wasn't it? About letter high. No chance to catch up with that. 
I think those North Callaway jerseys make the letters easy to call for an umpire because they've got that stripe. <laughs> that they do. Around them. That one missed low. That was an interesting pitch on two and one, a curveball in the dirt. And that one misses. Second straight inning with the leadoff walk. And you're playing with fire there. That you are. Four base runners so far for North Callaway. Nary a hit. The only contact, actually, in this game was a bunt that was a pop-up that was caught by the catcher for Bowling Green. But four walks have given the Thunderbirds some base runners. So now the pitcher digs in. Morris in the eighth spot. Set up outside. It goes in the dirt. I don't think that uh, Taylor's going to do any running there unless the ball goes back to the screen. Uh, nah, he probably... Well, actually, they put in a courtesy run Did they? for him. Yeah, number 27. That's uh, Blake Whipple. So that one's fouled out of play. Even to count it one and one. So we don't know what kind of speed Blake might have. I can tell you that Mr. Taylor would have Jim Ross speed. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Was that hit much? <laughs> There's a good curveball in there for strike two. Ball and two strikes to the number eight hitter, Morris. Clark waits on deck. Let's see if Bowling Green can get a double play ball here. One, two in the dirt. Two and two. Hadn't worked ahead at all so far uh, for Chandler. 2-2 two, two pitch. This one is grounded up the There's middle. Big hop. Ball. Steps on second. Goes to first, and the ball is thrown away, so he'll be safe there at first. Taylor made double play ball, but it does get the first out. It does, but he'll reach on an error by the shortstop. First error of the game by either club. That'll bring in Clark. Maybe he just wanted to get the one out so he can get the double play here and end the inning. There you go. We'll go with that, see if it works. Got a big Sunday hop, didn't he? Yes, he did. He almost, I guess he got the neighborhood. This one's lifted into center field. Moving in on it is Heidecker. Moving out is the shortstop. He can't make the catch. Everyone's going to be safe. He had to wait. So just the uh, runner goes from first to second. He wasn't sure if it was going to get down, but now. Clark jammed bad and hit a little Texas leaguer in short center with the wind blowing in. No chance for Heidecker to come and get that. Neymar made a great effort and dove. Um, man, he might actually got the tip of the glove on him but couldn't come away with it. So they've got first and second with the one out. That'll bring uh, the designated hitter and leadoff man, Woods, in for the second time, and he takes a strike called. He walked his first time, stole a base. As a starting pitcher, there's a big cut, swing and a miss. I always hated it when a lefty, and I'm a lefty, but I hate it when a lefty let off the game because you're so geared up and then you've got to deal with something different, out of the norm, right off the bat. We've talked about lefties all during basketball season. There's a foul tip <laughs> held on to, and that's a strikeout of Woods and the second out here in the inning. So, just like the first inning, Chandler gets a strikeout to maybe help get him out of this mess. This one is popped up. Moving in on it is angle, and that is a fair ball, and it's down. They're going to score a run here. Here comes the throw to the plate. It bounces in front of the catcher, and that allows the run to come in. We're tied at one here in the top of the second inning on a two-odd hit by the number two hitter, Peasold. Yeah, another one of those Texas leaguers into the uh, stiff win. And Morris able to score. Just a little bad luck on the throw. That was a great throw from an angle, but uh, I don't know if it hit the lip of the uh, grass there, but it took a weird hop on Keel. Yeah, that tall grass probably caused that. So they end up with a run and tying the game in second and third with uh, two outs. Lesson to be learned in this game. So far, don't play so deep. Yeah. For both clubs, actually, because yeah. the wind's going to knock everything down. That one misses for ball one to the number three hitter, Braden O'Neill. Misses outside, 2-0. Pitch number 34 from Chandler. That's a bunch. That's 17 in both innings. 
That misses high, 3-0, and and you don't want to walk the bases loaded for the second straight inning. What is the pitch limitation, 80? Or do you know? I don't I'm not know. sure. I don't know. That one's in for a strike. Three and one as he was taken all the way, and a get-over fastball did just that. Runners at second and third, two outs, and he walked him. Ball in the dirt, and the sacks are jammed for the second inning in a row. Chandler throwing a lot of pitches, and now Keel will come out and talk to his pitcher. Pennell will be the batter, the right fielder. He was hit by a pitch his first time up. Hitting him an elbow. Looks like he's not suffering any effects of that. It took him a little while to shake it off, however. Uh So Cooper Keel back behind the plate again. Back on top is Chandler, and he'll pitch from the full line here with the bases loaded and two outs. First pitch on its way. Out in front of it was Pinnell. Off speed pitch. Maybe a change that time. <clears throat> he was fooled, got a piece, and fouled it off. He digs back in. Another full wind from Chandler. Check swing and fouls that one toward the track. Yeah, a little excuse me contact there. No one was making the turn down the back stretch that time. Now he's got him in a hole on two. See if he can work out of this jam. High heat. Nope. Goes off speed. Right back to the pitcher. Good play by Chandler. I think he opened his eyes, saw the ball there. <laughs> and under it to first to retire the side. For the second straight inning, North Callaway leaves the bases loaded, but they do score a run and tie this game 1-1 as Bowling Green comes up in the second on Eagle 102. Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy, where the number one priority is the customer and adding new services to help simplify your life and building a strong, high-performance financial services organization. Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, your community bank since 1887, member FDIC. As many as 50% of people don't take their medication as prescribed. Missing or not taking medication can be deadly. For questions about medication, visit your local Healthmark Pharmacy, Bowling Green Pharmacy, located right on the square at 8 North Court in Bowling Green. High school sports all season long on your area sports leader, Eagle 102, is brought to you by Bowling Green tractor Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate and Ingram Plumbing. To the bottom of the second we go here from Bowling Green High School. Chart from uh, Jim Ross, Charlton, Feldman, and Heidecker for the Bobcats. So the six, seven, and eight hitters as Bowling Green sent five to the plate, scoring a run in the bottom of the first to take a lead. North Callaway ties it up in the top of the second. They'll toss it around. Good. and Charlton, Feldman, Heidecker. And we'll bring in Tristan Charlton. A couple of hits, a couple of strikeouts by Bowling Green in that first inning. So Tristan steps in against Morris, seeing him for the first time. All the way back in the right-hand batter's box. Foot resting on the line, and the pitch to him is in the dirt for ball one. Curveball, it went about, oh, 52 feet maybe. And the 1-0 pitch does the same thing with the fastball. Taylor will have to get up and track that one down. He didn't seem too jazzed about that (laughs) prospect. Was hoping somebody would come out of the dugout and get it. The 2-0. Jack swing, he went around. That's two balls and a strike. Up and in pitch that... uh... Started the swing and then was spinning to maybe get out of the way and back across the zone. 2-1. That one's high and away. Three balls and a strike. And Morris will try and come back and avoid walking a man for the first time. Morris threw 16 pitches in the first inning. The 3-1 is called strike two as... The batter, Charlton, was starting toward first base, but that was a really good pitch. Count goes full. 
And Morris on the full line delivers, and that one's low. And he walks it. Well, so much for both pitchers finding the zone, throwing strikes, and us having a quick-paced pitcher's duel. That'll bring in Feldman. DJ's the second baseman, also bats from the right-hand side. And Morris now from the stretch delivers. Up and in for ball one. It may have been by design there to move the batter back and see what the uh, runner at first was going to do. Third baseman even with the base. Runner takes his lead off first. It's a short lead, and the next is popped up toward us. Going to go over the cafe roof here. and I landed a foot behind us outside the uh, broadcast facility here. A ball and a strike. Nobody out and a runner first. That one. Called a strike. Runner is toast. He's caught stealing. And that's the first out. Here in the bottom of the second. Good throw by Taylor that time. And as you said, through Charlton out by a step or two. And the count goes to one and two as he took a strike. The next to Feldman on its way. And it's called strike three, and that's the second out here in the bottom of the second. Third strike out of the game for Morris. That'll bring in a Heidecker. So he'll try and get on and turn the order around. That one called a strike on the inner half. Mm. And it's 0-1. Generous, generous strike there, huh? He's got a pretty wide zone. He doesn't give much low. There's a swing and a miss. You know, I'm okay with that. When I umpired high school baseball, I told the coaches in the coaches meeting, there's nobody here to watch me. Exactly. Get them off your shoulders, boys. The 0-2. Called strike three. And the side is retired. So Bowling Green gets a man on and caught stealing a pair of strikeouts. And we head to the third, tied at one on Eagle 102. Hi, County, Missouri Health Department is accepting appointments for upcoming COVID vaccination clinics. Appointments can be made online at www.pikecountyhealth.org or by calling our office at 573-324-2111. These will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Stay up to date with more clinics by subscribing to our PCHD e-news. If you do not have internet access, please call our office and ask how we can help you stay informed. Need a little good news in your life? State Farm has new lower car insurance rates in Missouri, so you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Cindy Blaylock at an even better price. Call me today at 573-754-5575. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bringing you all the action from the Eagle 102 Broadcast Booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Throw goes down. We're ready for play here in the top of the third inning. And for North Callaway, we'll lead it off with uh, number three, Christian Griffith, batting for the second time as they're going through this order against uh, the pitcher Chandler. Five, six, and seven in the lineup. Griffith in the first took a pitch right off his coconut. Curveball up and hit right off the top of his helmet. Well, we'll see if he can see more than one pitch this time. Big guy in the right-hand batter's box. He's the first baseman. And a good curveball to start him off from Chandler for strike one. He looks like a baseball player. Yes, he does. In the box. The 0-1. Make it 0-2. Another good pitch. He hasn't shown him the heater yet. Back-to-back off-speed pitches. Called strikes. So you're going to throw it again? 0-2. Oh, and he's out in front of this one. Lifted into short uh, left center and a right center. And it's in for a hit. Another one of those Texas leaguers off the end of the bat that time. And Wynn knocks it down. And Griffith reaches base. Yeah, I think it's time to reel in those outfielders just a little bit. Especially at center and right. No question. Let them burn you deep. 
Altheiser will be the batter. I think you've got two pitchers that they're just wild enough right now, and you're not going to make much solid contact. That one on the outside corner. Got the call, even with Keel springing out of his crouch to keep that runner at first. Altizer struck out his first time up. The 0-1, instead of check on the runner at first and back in safely, is Griffith. Nobody out, runner at first. And that one is in for a strike, and the throw down to first is not in time. Good snap throw that time by the Bowling Green backstopper, Cooper Keel. 0-2 the count. Look at that runner. Now the pitch. In for strike three. Good curveball that time. That's the first out here in the top of the third inning. Runner still at first, and that'll bring in the catcher, Taylor. Taylor. He reached on a walk and was forced on a double play ball where they didn't get the runner at first. There's the strike on the corner, and looks like Chandler's starting to hit those spots. 47 pitches into the game. The 0-1. Foul back to the screen, 0-2. No balls, two strikes, runner at first, one out. Chandler looks at that runner again, now comes set. The pitch in on his hands, and it's fouled to the dugout. Made the guy on deck do a little do a little dance. Pretty close to him, actually. Playing a lot deeper at third and short. Here for the big man, Taylor. Another 0-2, reaching for that one, spoiled a good breaking ball that he did still no ball two strike count haven't had a ball hit uh, really to the left side a ground ball up the middle is the closest they've come go to the fastball snap throw to first again and almost got him at first base ball and two strikes to the batter Taylor and they're paying close attention to Griffith down there at first that they are one ball two strikes Popped up, out of play, and the count stays the ball in two strikes. Had the runner on the move that time. I think you got to put him in motion a little bit at least. Give him a running start. There's two big guys out there. So they want to avoid the double play. Another one, two. Coming from Chandler. That one is hit. To the first baseman in foul territory, and he was still standing on the bag, so it's a double play. How about that? Unbelievable. <laughs> a line-out double play where he didn't even have to move off the bag. So the inning comes to an end, and this game is still tied 1-1 as we head to the bottom of the third on Eagle 102. Show off your school pride today with the Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Every time you use your Bulldog Debit Card, Bank of Louisiana will make a donation to the Louisiana School District. Stop by the bank today and get your new Bulldog Debit Card so you can start supporting the teachers and students with every swipe. The Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Member FDIC. Bowling Green Tractor wants to change the way you think about yard work with their Ego 56-volt arc lithium battery-powered lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, trimmers, and chainsaws. At Bowling Green Tractor, you can walk in and see for yourself just how easy these products are to handle. Bowling Green Tractor, your home for Ego. Power beyond belief. On air, online, on the KJFM radio app, and on Alexa. The most complete coverage of high school sports on Eagle 102 is brought to you by Mid-America Auto and Towing and the Mercantile Bank. To the bottom of the third we go. Twelman will lead things off 9-1-2 and two for Bowling Green. Twelman, then Lazier, and Niemeyer as Bowling Green finally getting back into that uh, most productive part of the order. It's taking them a while to get there. One run on a pair of hits in the uh, bottom of the first inning. That was matched in the top of the second by North Callaway. And that's where we stand, 1-1. Morris with four strikeouts for North Callaway, two in each inning. But he's also, well, walked one and uh, 
had a wild pitch that played into that uh, first run. Coach James, a little extended conversation with the home plate umpire here between innings as Austin Lee makes his way over to the first base coaching box as the row goes down, and we're ready for ball here in the bottom of the third. Beautiful ballpark here at Bowling Green. Got the softball diamond to the left and the baseball diamond to the right. Football field and track behind us. Beautiful night for baseball, too. <clears throat> Perfect outside right now. So Twelman leads things off. He's the designated hitter. Looking to make some contact here, and he takes a ball high. See if he can get things going here for the Bobcats. The 1-0 pitch, outside and low, 2-0. Number nine hitter, you're we're going to get on base. A little conversation there between he and Taylor, the catcher. Now they set up inside and nip and in, and it's 3-0. and Well, if you're Taylor, you don't want to walk the ninth place hitter. You've got to make him put it in play. A 3-0. On its way from Morris to Twelman. And that's called a, well, called a ball. It is a ball. I think I said Taylor Morris, the pitcher. His second walk. Let's see if the Bobcats can capitalize. Lazier went off the game for Bowling Green with a hit. Came around to score the Bobcats only run. Solid liner over to the second baseman in the first inning. Is that one? is swung on and caught the home plate umpire in the mask. So he'll walk around a bit. Take a little stroll, yeah. I'm guessing that was a foul ball, right? It was. Didn't hear the crack or ping. Hit him right off the top of his mask. Not exactly the best place to be hit. Said it got me right here. Got to charge those things, huh? You got to charge that. You know? Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> oh, and one the count to Lazier. As everybody's all right and making their way back to their positions here in the bottom of the third inning. Twelve in the runner at first. In on the grass at third base, holding the runner at first. Here's the 0-1. Bunting deadens it nicely. Catcher out. Taylor throws to first. High throw, but he gets back down on the bag. Good play. Sacrifice is good as it goes 2-3 on the put out. Number, third, number 30, shortstop, Alan Niemeyer. Good play that time by Taylor, the catcher. He bounced out of there. Had to make a good throw. Good strong throw, actually. But the Cats have runner in scoring position now with made of the order coming up. Owen oh, Niemeyer digs in. Where's number 30? Hunter takes his lead off second, and the pitch bounces back to the screen. And Twelman will take third. Second wild pitch of the night for Morris. And they both allowed a runner to go from second to third. Exactly right. Now let's see if Niemeyer can move the ball somewhere, put some grass on it maybe. Outfield grass would be appropriate. The 1-0 pitch on its way. Swung on a miss, took something off that. And Niemeyer swung through it. Big cut, though. He had a sacrifice bunt his first time up. That one misses inside. Two balls and a strike. And Runner at third is 12 Infield actually playing in at the corners. About halfway in, up the middle. This one grounded past the third base, and shortstop will get it deep in the hole. He bobbles it, and Bowling Green has a 2-1 lead as Twelman comes across on the hit by Niemeyer. Number nine, catcher. Yeah, in the hole, and the grass slowed that ball down enough. Even if the shortstop came up with that clean, he wasn't going to throw out Niemeyer. Not at all, so So it is an infield hit. And Niemeyer gets an RBI. That'll bring in the catcher, Cooper Keel. 
He all swings and misses. Big cut at that one. Then he flips the bat around in his hand. Yeah, that one was up in his eyes. Kicks the dirt a bit. Now he digs back in. No one won the count. Runner at first. Just one out, and that one's in the dirt. Even things up at a ball and a strike. Up to 42 pitches is Jacob Morris. Don't imagine Bowling Green look to run here. Uh, point to point. This one popped up mile high. Is it going to stay in the ballpark? Catcher Taylor under it, and he makes the catch. Behind home for the second out. Nice play by Taylor. That ball always curves back into the infield on a pop-up like that. And he played it nicely. Taylor's made a couple of good defensive plays in this inning. So now Morris with a chance to get out of this with no more damage if he can handle Caden Chandler, who struck out looking his first time. First pitch to him. Lift it up into right field, not a play. Great effort to get out of the way down there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that old boy in that chair said, uh, I just hope it's not at me because I'm not going to catch it and I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> 0 and 1 to Chandler. That one bounces in. Good block that time by Austin Taylor. I'll admit, I, I was a little uh, worried about uh, the way Taylor was throwing. He kind of short arms his throws, but he's thrown out a man. He's made some good plays. Pretty good catcher for North Callaway. That he is. The 1-1 one, one in the dirt again. Good block. Well, now you might want to look at running. You got a fastball count. You wouldn't be upset if Chandler had to lead off the next inning. You're trying to get the runner in scoring position. That one in the dirt and back to the screen. Well, they're going to throw him to second with a wild pitch, third of the game. Niemeyer now into scoring position with two outs. Second of the inning, actually. I the count goes to three and one to Chandler. You walk him now and deal with Pogue. No, we're right down central to load up the count. Yeah, that was kind of a get me over fastball, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And Bowling Green pitcher was taking all the way. Counts full, three balls, two strikes. This one lifted high and out of play. Pass first base. So we'll do it again. Bowling Green on top. Two to one here. We're in the bottom of the third in a slow-moving game. Yes, it is. This is Major League Baseball pace here. Uh-huh. Another 3-2 pinch for Morris on its way. And it's called a strike on the inside corner to strike out Chandler looking for the second time and end the bottom of the third inning. Bowling Green adds a run. And now lead North Callaway 2-1 to one as we head to the fourth on KJFM. Sailor Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers. Offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Hey, this is Ryan with Mid-America Auto and Towing in Bowling Green, and we've got the lot looking good and ready to go. We've got something for everybody's budget. We have a constant rotation of new inventory, including cars, trucks, and SUVs. So if you're out and you're looking for a new car, come by and see me. The Mid-America Auto and Towing, just off Highway 54 in Bowling Green, is a one-stop shop. Like us on Facebook or check out our website, midamericaautoandtowing.com. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth, sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Bowling Green pulls ahead in the bottom of the third. We head to the fourth, 2-1. The Bobcats lead North Callaway in their home opener here, and it'll be the pitcher to lead things off, Jacob Morris, for the T-Birds. Yeah, you'd look at the score and you'd think, it is a pitcher's duel. And I guess it is, but uh, we've had a ton of base runners by both teams as both pitchers have had some control issues. 
Let's see if Chandler can settle in here. First pitch. Oh, that's a nasty hook there for strike one to the number eight hitter, Morris. Pitch number 54 for those of you counting. The 0-1. Fouled off 0-2. Went in on the hands there. What did Morris do his first time up? Morris reached on a air on that double play ball. The 0-2 pinch. Reaching for this one, grounds it to the third baseman. Up with it is Pogue. Long throw across and a good stretch at first base by Charlton to record the first down. He was playing deep at third, and that took uh, every bit of Cody Pogue's arm to get it across for the first down. And that it did. It was a good good play. Got a nice hop off the grass and threw a strike to first to Charlton. And takes us to the number nine hitter, Bryce Clark. He got a base hit his first time up. One of those Texas leaguers to the right field side. And the first pitch he sees in at bat number two showing bunt and takes the ball. Outside, 0 and 1, or 1 and 0. Clark is senior. Senior second baseman for North Callaway. There's number 16. They play their home games in the city of Abaz. They don't have a field out at the school. This one lifted into center, ranging over his Heidecker, and he makes the two-handed grab for the second out. First solidly hit fly ball of the game by either club, but can of corn 32. for Heidecker. Takes us back to the top of the order for Davis Woods. He walked in the first, struck out, swinging in the second. Only left-handed batter in this ball game so far. And the first pitch to him with the bases empty and two out is called a strike. Swept across the plate toward the third base side of the plate. A one up high, one and one. Good crowd here. Yeah, there is. North Callaway traveled nicely. They've got a good bunch over here in the bleachers. Party deck pretty full. Yes, it is. On both sides. And that pitch called the ball two and one. Well, people are starving to get outside and watch some sports. What better way to do it than watch a good high school baseball game? There's a big swing and a mess. Two and two. Nothing better. Base is empty. Two outs. Two balls. Two strikes. And that's strike three called as Woods... Spins around new that he had missed an opportunity there taking strike three. So they uh, go one, two, three in the top of the fourth. Still 2 1 Bowling Green with the Bobcats coming up on Eagle 102. Show off your school pride today with the Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Every time you use your Bulldog Debit Card, Bank of Louisiana will make a donation to the Louisiana School District. Stop by the bank today and get your new Bulldog Debit Card so you can start supporting the teachers and students with every swipe. The Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Member FDIC. Hi, County Missouri Health Department is accepting appointments for upcoming COVID vaccination clinics. Appointments can be made online at www.pikecountyhealth.org or by calling our office at 573-324-2111. These will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Stay up to date with more clinics by subscribing to our PCHD e-news. If you do not have Internet access, please call our office and ask how we can help you stay informed. Your area sports leader, Eagle 102, gives you the best coverage of high school sports on KJFM Radio. Brought to you by Community State Bank of Missouri, County Market, Louisiana, and Bowling Green Pharmacy. For the fourth, and who's coming up for the uh, Bobcats? It'll be Pogue Charlton and Feldman. Pogue struck out swinging in the first. And that's for the second I think time. it's your event going on on the track, the two-mile. The two, that's my event? Yeah. Didn't you run the two-mile in high school? Uh, no. <laughs> have you run two miles in your life? <laughs> I have. I, 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 all together, yeah. <laughs> I'll add it up. Yeah. Uh, cumulative. <laughs> uh. So Pogue digs in. Back out there is Jacob Morris. Pitch fairly well as that one goes in the dirt, 1-0. Oh. Yeah, he struck out five, walked two. Three wild pitches, two of them 
factored into the runs. Yeah, Bowling, Bowling Green has scored. Moved runners from second to third, and they were able to both cross the plate. That one inside to Pogue, and it's two balls and no strikes. Pogue actually had a couple nice cuts in that first at bat. See if he can square one up here. In the bottom of the fourth, there's number 19. Had a nice play at third base last half inning. To throw out Morris. There's a big cut. Came up empty, two and one. Took a little off that maybe, threw a little cutter in there. Top half, our first one, two, three inning of the day. Yep, high. Three and one. Sure, if you're watching on video, man, they got the dual mowers going over there. Well, that's a fast way to mow your yard. Uh -huh. You got two of those big bad boys going. Got the zero turns out there, yeah. mowing around the uh, <laughs> the learning center out there beyond center field. This one hit high. Center field moving back on it is Altheiser. Had all day to get camped under that for the first out. Good contact that time by Pogue. Of course, the win. Going to knock it down a little bit, blowing hard from right field. <laughs> Hadn't laid down yet, has it? No, it hasn't. It's truly from center field right into home plate right now. Charlton walked his first time up. And then... Uh, Number 24, first baseman, Tristan. Was out, on a, on a, out stealing, I should say. Uh, Good curveball there to start him off, 0-1. Oh one, in the dirt one and one. When I got here, Coach Jane was uh, yelling at uh, the younger players to get the sprinklers off the field. It's still really wet between uh, second and third base. <laughs> I'm guessing they didn't pay real close attention. Yeah. <laughs> That's in there for strike two. One yeah. and two the count to Tristan Charlton. One out, base is empty. And the next, reaching, grounds it to the second baseman. Up with it is Clark, throw to first, and that's the second out. 4-3 on the put out of Tristan Charlton. Got jammed that time a little bit, slow roller to the second baseman, and that'll bring D.J. Feldman to the plate. He struck out looking back in the second. Number 18, second baseman, D.J. Feldman. Youngster digs in. Looking out at Jacob Morris. And takes a ball outside to start off his second at bat of the day. Well, I don't want to, don't want to jinx us, but jinx us. But uh, both pitchers have settled in this inning, haven't yeah. they? Yeah, this game is sped up dramatically in a swing and a miss. Even to kind of one and one to DJ Feldman ready again. Morris kicks and delivers outside and low, two and one. Morris hadn't had to throw a ton of pitches so far in this inning either. Long look. Now he comes set. 2-1 count to Feldman. And the pitch is low and away again. 3-1. and one. Morris has walked two. Catcher Taylor came out and said, come on, get this guy. Feldman, the number seven, seven hitter in the order. And the 3-1 pitch. That one bounces in. It's a two-out walk. Walks piling up. And we had Chandler with his first one, two, three inning. And Morris can't do it in one, the bottom half. One thing about Morris, when he's missing, he's not missing high in the zone. You know, not that there's a threat of a ball going out of this park today. He's missing low, which is actually safer. Heidecker to the plate. He struck out looking in the in the uh, second as well. Check on the runner at first and back in with a head first slide is Feldman. 64 pitches for Jacob Morris. We're in the fourth, bottom half, 2 1 Bowling Green. Swing and a miss by Heidecker. And the count is 0 1. 2 1 our score. We're in the Bottom of the fourth, Bowling Green leads it. Showing bunt, pulls back, takes the ball, snap throw to first, and back in. 
again is Feldman. He's not really taking a big lead. <laughs> no. no. They're awfully worried about him here with two outs. Pitching to the number eight hitter. Swing and a miss. And the count goes to a ball and two strikes. Yeah, no need to do anything but pound a fastball this time and see if Hyder can catch up with it. Morris Runny, Heineker Runny, and a swing and a miss ends the inning. Bowling Green leaves a runner aboard here in the bottom of the fourth. The two-out walk is wasted, and we head to the fifth. Still 2-1 Bobcats leading North Callaway on KJFM. Need a little good news in your life? State Farm has new, lower car insurance rates in Missouri, so you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Cindy Blaylock at an even better price. Call me today at 573-754-5575. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bowling Green Tractor wants to change the way you think about yard work with their Ego 56-volt arc lithium battery-powered lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, trimmers, and chainsaws. At Bowling Green Tractor, you can walk in and see for yourself just how easy these products are to handle. Bowling Green Tractor, your home for Ego. Power beyond belief. Bringing you all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. 2-1, 2-1, Bowling Green leads as we head to the fifth inning. North Callaway coming up. Caden Chandler still out there. Now at 63 pitches. Is that right? I thought he was higher than that. Have they changed it over yet? I'm not sure they changed it. He'll face Peasel, O'Neill, and Pinnell. 2-3 and 4 in the lineup. So this is a big inning for Chandler and the Bobcats. That it is, as Peasel. One for two so far. Popped up to the catcher and singled back in the second. So you're right. Big inning. If you can get through this without any base runners, it would be ideal. Innings are getting late now. There's a ball high on the first pitch to the North Callaway third baseman. Curveball that didn't quite bite that time. Stayed too high. That one in the dirt. Two balls, no strikes. Kicks the dirt on the mound a little bit. Peasel, just a freshman. Plays third base for North Callaway. The 2-0 pitch. There's a strike on the corner. 2-1. and one. O'Neill to follow. He walked his last time up. Boy. Chandler is working quickly and delivered that one into the dirt, three and one, and then checked uh, his fingers. Maybe working on a little blister there? That's a possibility. This one grounded to the third baseman, under the glove of the third baseman and shortstop, and into left for a base hit. Lazier does, sends it back in, but a leadoff hit for Peasel. One of those C and I singles. Uh-huh. 25 hopper between the shortstop and the third baseman. Let's see if North Callaway can get something going here in this top of the fifth inning with the leadoff runner hitter on. Braden O'Neill, the shortstop, digs in. He's walked and struck out so far this afternoon. And the first pitch to him from Chandler is low for ball one. Nothing going over at first base. The 1-0 runner goes, and the pitch is a strike, and I, I think uh, Keel lost the grip on the ball, so no throw down to second. And a runner in scoring position now with nobody out. Second stolen base of the game for North Callaway. 1-1. Missed with the curve. Two balls and a strike. Keel tried to frame it, didn't get the call, so it missed up and in. 2-1, inside 3-1. and one. Working into a peck of trouble here. Yep. And the next on its way. Woo, just missed, and it's a walk. 
There's runners at first and second. That's been a strike most of the day. <laughs> yes, it has. Fourth walk of the game, along with two hit batsmen, six freebies by Chandler as we're just in the fifth. I'll we'll bring in Pinnell. Pinnell was hit by a pitch and grounded back to the pitcher. That's one. Back up the middle. Slow roller. Trouble with it for the shortstop, and everybody is safe, I believe. Did he call him out? Ooh. I couldn't tell. We, we got the, the, the wall kind of blocking our view a little bit. It was very close, so they get the out at first and move. You know what? Oh, now the runner is going to take something back to the dugout, and the umpire is going to talk about that play. Oh, he's going to go and ask the out if he was if the first baseman was off the base. That that didn't look to be the issue to me at all. No, it's just a bang bang play. Uh huh. Neymar had a little bobble with it, and they confirm the call. So it's runners at second and third with one out. Never have understood that. If the uh, home plate umpire sees he's off the base, he should come and get it right away. You yeah. shouldn't have to come and ask for help. That'll bring in Griffith. Number three, Griffith. But runners in scoring position. What's Christian done today? Christian is hit by a pitch and singled his last time up. Oh, he's been on base both at bats, yeah. Takes the ball outside. Now we said this was a pivotal inning for Chandler. Now he needs a strikeout. Strikeout or a pop up. There's a strike. Even to count him one and one. Knee high fastball. Working quickly still. And that one is outside. Goes to the. Well, didn't quite make it to the screen. Good play by Keel. A curveball in the dirt. And he was able to knock it down. and got between his legs and rolled away just a bit, but not enough for the runners to advance. Two balls and a strike. And the next on its way. Swung on a miss. Overpowered him there with a the fastball. Even to count it two and two. Hold again. Climb that ladder, maybe. The 2-2 pinch. Had him out in front. Bouncer to second. They fake the, row, the throw home. And the game is tied. They get the out at second. Over to third goes a runner. And we're tied at two. That was actually a good decision by Feldman. You you try and throw that guy out at the plate, and, he, and he's safe. Now you got a chance for a big inning. Yeah. Take the out, because it was going to be questionable whether they could throw him out at the plate or not. Altizer in, and he struck out twice. It was definitely a good choice. First one in for a strike, and now the 0-1. Runner at third, and he lifts one, fouling out of play on the first base side. Hey, that one got him. Did it? Yep. <laughs> on the bounce, and he sends it back to the field. <laughs> See a nice play down there. I hear he thought he'd set far enough away he was safe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that Mr. Charlton down there? I think it is. Uh, oh, two the count after that foul ball. And this one lifted again out of play. And to the track where there's a lot of runners. <laughs> Look like they're getting ready to get in the starting blocks. That, that one actually went all the way to the football field. First down. Yeah. Another 0-2. Goes off speed. And oh, my. Mm -hmm. Called a ball. That was a good-looking pitch. All in two strikes. Here's another one. And a big swing and a miss to end the inning. North Callaway ties the ball game with a single run. They leave a runner at third base, and we head to the bottom of the fifth. It's time to stretch here at Bowling Green, all knotted at two on KJFM. Sailor and Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now, a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Is it time to renew, redo, or rebuild? I'm Christine Rutherford, and we have loans designed specifically for repairs and renovations, along with home equity lines of credit. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender, MLO number 421603, NMLS number 407724. Area high school sports on Eagle 102. 
can be found on air, online, on the KJFM radio app, and on Alexa. Brought to you by People's Bank and Trust, State Farm Insurance, Cindy Blaylock Agent, and Perkins Electrical Services. Morris back out there for the fifth for North Callaway. Brand new ball game tied at two, heading into the home half of this fifth inning. Nine, one, and two. Twelman, Lazier, and Niemeyer for the Cats. So a pivotal inning for Morris and the T-Birds. That combination scored a run back in the third. I put Bowling Green ahead of the time, two to one. Now we're tied. At deuces. So Twelman, he drew a walk in his only plate appearance. Walked and scored a run. Was bunted to second. Took third on a wild pitch. Came on home on the infield hit. So we'll see how Morris attacks the number nine hitter this time. First pitch at the bottom of the fifth on the way. And it's outside. Bounces in for ball one. Bowling Green a run in the bottom of the first, run in the bottom of the third. Swing and a miss. Even scout of one and one. Or Callaway one with the in the top of the second and the top of the fifth. Bowling Green's never trailed in this game. But we're tied at two. Inside two and one to Will Twelman. Not sure what kind of pitch that is. It's a must be a change up that he's really cutting to make it move to the inside. That's one grounded to the shortstop deep at the shortstop spot for O'Neill. Long throw across and out at first by a step is Twelman. And the leadoff man retired. We go back to the top of the order now for Bowling Green. Good play by shortstop O'Neill to throw out Twelman. Lazier one for two. Or actually one for one with a sacrifice back in the third inning. Scored a run in the first. First pitch to him. Up high with the changeup. And a 1-0 count. The next grounded to the second baseman. Slow roller up with it is Clark. Throw to first, and the first two are retired. So Morris responding here. Yep, two ground balls, two outs. Good looking defense on the infield by North Callaway. That'll bring in Owen Niemeyer. Niemeyer is one for one as he had a sack back in the first. Big cut there. He's looking to give the Bobcats a lead. Came up empty. I don't know how many baseball games you've done here, but it would take a poke to get it out of here. I mean, a poke. Today for sure. <laughs> I've seen some home runs here. It's only 292 down the line, but the fence is about a nine-foot fence. That's where they usually go. Niemeyer missed that one by a foot as it bounces toward the plate. It's a one ball or excuse me, a no ball, two strike count. Base is empty, two down. Morris looking for his first one, two, three, and he gets it with the strikeout on a swing and a miss by Owen Niemeyer. We had to the six, we're knotted at two. This is high school baseball on Eagle 102. When you support a locally owned pharmacy, you're contributing to the growth of the community. The dollars you spend stay right here to support our local community. HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned pharmacies. There's one right here. HealthMart pharmacists have a personal commitment to their communities because just like you, they support their community. HealthMart pharmacies are locally owned and hometown proud. Louisiana is a HealthMart town. Family Drug HealthMart Pharmacy. The right people, the right price, right downtown. HealthMart, caring for you and about you. 
Hey, this is Ryan with Mid-America Auto and Towing in Bowling Green, and we've got the lot looking good and ready to go. We've got something for everybody's budget. We have a constant rotation of new inventory, including cars, trucks, and SUVs. So if you're out and you're looking for a new car, come by and see me. The Mid-America Auto and Towing, just off Highway 54 in Bowling Green, is a one-stop shop. Like us on Facebook or check out our website, midamericaautoandtowing.com. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 Broadcast Booth, sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. We're in the sixth now as Bowling Green and North Callaway are tied at two. Caden Chandler back out there, 83 pitches so far in this ball game, 84. So the pitch count's not 80. No. <laughs> we do. We're going to find out what it is today. Yeah, I yeah. Well, I think we'll, we'll, we'll see one of these pitchers get to it. Wind really picks up into our broadcast position. And for North Callaway, it'll be the seven, eight, nine hitters, Austin Taylor, the catcher, to lead things off. And the first pitch he sees is called the ball high. Taylor with a walk and grounded out to the first baseman. This one belted into right, but right at Adam Engel, who makes the catch on the run for the first out. And you just see where he's playing. They learned he was playing shallow that time. So instead of a ball dropping in, it, it's a, an out. That'll bring in the pitcher, Jacob Morris. Morris reached on an air and scored a run back in the second and grounded short in the fourth. That one fouled back to the screen. Home plate umpire learned, too. He was kind of off, <laughs> off to the third base side as that one was lined at him. Yeah, he took one off the top of the mask. He didn't want any part of that. The 0-1. Off speed. Misses high. Evens a count and a ball and a strike. Getting late here for the Bobcats. That one misses just high as well. These were... Pitches that were most of the time called a strike early in the ball game. Mm -hmm. That one, a fastball. I thought missed in was called a strike. Flip going, huh? Two and two. One out, base is empty. Reaching for that one and swings and misses. Nice job by Keel to slide out and grab that one on the fly so he doesn't have to throw it to first. And that'll bring up Clark, the number nine hitter. He's uh, had a single back in the second and threw out the center in one of the first solid hit balls we had uh, back in the fourth. First pitch he sees this time is right to the shortstop. Up with it is Niemeyer. Throw across and a one, two, three, top of the sixth inning. Bowling Green coming up in the bottom half. This game's tied at two here on Eagle 102. I'm Tylee Mills, the CEO of Pike County Memorial Hospital. You've heard it from your friends, family, and even neighbors. They choose Pike County Memorial Hospital. Quality care from quality people. Pike County Memorial Hospital. Bundle at Pike County Mutual Insurance and save. Ask about the great rates on your personal vehicle, farm trucks, big or small, or even your motorcycle and side-by-sides. Stop by and see myself, Corey Buchanan, Buddy Bibb, or Kathy Gam at your hometown insurance company since 1895. Pike County Mutual Insurance on the square in Bowling Green. Follow area high school sports throughout the season on your area sports leader, Eagle 102. Brought to you by Mike's Tire and Service Center, Bank of Louisiana, and Pike County Mutual Insurance. Fun ball game, low scoring. Seen some base runners, though, and uh, we're all nodded at two as we get into the uh, late innings here. Bowling Green can get a run here and then uh, retire the side of the seventh. They win the ball game. That'd be a great thing. The challenge is, is they'll face the top of the order. But first things first, they've got Keel, Chandler, and Pogue here in the bottom of the sixth. <clears throat> Keel driven, drove in one of the runs with a single and popped out to the catcher back in the third. Morris still out there for his sixth inning of work. As the throw goes down, we're ready for ball, and... The catcher, Keel, will dig in. 77 pitches for Morris. You've got the right combo up there. The three, four, and five hitters. 
to try and put you ahead going into the seventh. You need a base runner to start things off. That helps. Morris ready. Keel digs in, and first pitch he sees is up high for ball one. Game has come to the pitchers a little bit. That it has. Had a couple quick innings the last few. That one in for a strike. Good looking pitch to Cooper Keel. Evens the count. Chandler and Pogue to follow. A 1 1 on its way. This one is fisted behind third base. Shortstop ranges over and catches it in the air. Good play by Braden O'Neill for the first out. Thought he was going to get lucky there and pop his way into a hit. Got jammed, and one thing about these composite bats, if you don't hit it on the barrel, it makes a funny sound, and it doesn't go very far, and that's exactly what happened to Q there. That'll bring in Caden Chandler. Looking to help his own cause here. He struck out looking twice in this game, both in the third and also back in the first. Need him to get going here. First pitch he sees is outside for ball one. Sit on a dead red fastball now and give it a ride, huh? That'd be nice. Find a gap there. That one in the dirt. 2-0. Oh. Looks like Morris is overloading a little bit. At least he did on that pitch. The 2-0. Uh, Pi, 3-0, and tried to take something off and went high. Little pin is busy for the Cats. Two guys up and throwing. Guess some one's going to be coming into this ball game, and the other will probably play the JV game. Inside, and a four-pitch walk to Caden Chandler. The go-ahead run is aboard. Fourth walk of the game for Morris. Uh, I think we're going to have a pitching change here. As Morris was up to 84 pitches, I think they're going to bring in the third baseman, uh, Peasold. They really called everyone in. Might not change it up quite yet. Hasn't well, asked for the ball yet. I guess he's asking Morris how he feels. And You know, there's six games into the season. I don't know if you want to run him up to 100 pitches or not. That's what they're going to do. He's out there. Some guys are different than others, you know. Uh, Some guys have that rubber arm and can throw forever. Yeah, there's guys that it takes them a good 50 pitches to to really get into a ball game. Yeah, without a doubt. So Pogue digs in. We had a guy back in Louisiana when my son played that just could just throw forever, and that was before pitch counts. Yeah. Showing bunt. He made double contact, and that's a dead ball. He was in the box, so that'll just be a foul ball. So we see how Coach Jane's going to try and play it. Get that runner in the scoring position for Tristan Charlton, who will follow Pogue, assuming we avoid a double play. I would won the count to Pogue. Coming in at the corners, pulls back, takes a strike, 0-2. So he had Peasold charging there. Curveball that time and laid off of it. Now you got to move the baseball somewhere. Mm-hmm. One out, runner at first. The next, outside, good block that time by the catcher, Taylor. Well, that it was. That pitch hit five feet in front of the plate and did wonders to knock that down. Big guy threw his chest out there and knocked it straight to the ground. Pope flew out deep to center. His last at bat struck out in the first. Let's see if he can make good contact here again. Showing bunt again, one, two, and he gets it down. It's a good one. It's going to be close at first. He's safe, and the ball bounces away, and the runner's going to advance. The go-ahead run coming around in. third. Here's the throw, and it's late. Bowling Green leads. It gets away again, and into scoring position goes Pogue. Holy moly. So Chandler hustles his way all the way around from first, and the Bobcats retake the lead 
on a couple of airs, three to two. We'll give him a hit on the bunt because he was going to beat that out. But an air on the throw. And then actually another air on the throw to home. Home. And then Taylor lost his shoe. <laughs> you know so, how hard it is to put back on a shoe with shin guards on? Two airs on the play. Gives Bowling Green the lead. Now he trips over his, his mask. He's having all <laughs> sorts of trouble back there. <laughs> yeah. So the Cats pull ahead and now an intentional walk, I believe, to Tristan Charlton to put runners at first and second. So he makes his way down to first. So now you have a force at any base. And that'll bring DJ Feldman to the plate. He struck out looking and has walked back in the fourth. Just one out. See if they can tack this insurance run on. Swinging a miss. He took something off. Feldman was geared up for the fastball there. Had a mighty cut. First and second, one out. Run in for Bowling Green to pull ahead. Morris. Ready again. That one fouled back into the screen. Good contact there. 0 and 2, though, the count. Heidecker on deck. We'll follow Feldman. There's the next. And it gets away. The runners are going to stay put. A good choice that time by Pogue out there at second. Uh, that ball didn't roll away from Taylor far enough. He's got a good arm. And rolled toward third base mm -hmm. as well. Ball and two strike count. One out, runners at first and second. The next to Morris, or from Morris, is hit back up the middle, and that one is through into center field. The runners had to make sure... And the bases are loaded now, full of Bobcats with one down. Yeah, you talk about a C and I sing that got by the pitcher. The shortstop and the second baseman crossed, and neither one of them came up with it, but the center fielder was playing so short by the time he grabbed it, he was about two steps into the grass. So good choice by Coach Jane to hold up the runner because that was trouble with the plate if you were descending. Mm -hmm. Now can Heidecker get a key hit? Checks the swing, takes a strike. Struck out twice with looking in the second and swinging in the fourth. Chance to blow this one open in Bowling Green's favor. The next to Heidecker, swinging a miss, so and two. And I guarantee you that Coach Levy knows the situation. The 0-2 pinch. Up and in, it hit him. Hit him on the sleeve. And it's... Four to two, Bowling Green. Coming across <laughs> is Pogue on the hit by pitch 0 2 to Heidecker, and that'll bring in Twelman. What a way to get another an, 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 uh, insurance run, if you will. Mm -hmm. And now, as you said, Twelman, if he can find a base hit out of that. Black bat of his, he can really blow things open here as the infield is all in on the grass. They're going to try and squeeze this off. Twelman walked in the second and grounded short in the fifth. First pitch he sees is up high for ball one. Coach Levy saying this is Morris's ball game. That he is. Up to 96 pitches. Up high. 2 and 0. This might be the last batter he faces. Nobody warming in the bullpen, so he'll have to bring somebody from the field, I guess. Uh-huh. Overcooked that one, goes back to the screen. They're not running now with a 3-0 count. He may be unnerved. You know, he he's the one that threw the threw the ball wild to first and let the go-ahead run go in. It may have unnerved him a bit. Uh-huh. JB guys getting ready. The 3-0 pitch walked him. 
Another run comes in for Bowling Green. It's 5-2. to two. As coming across is Tristan Charlton with the fifth run, and that will be it for Jacob Morris. Pitching change for North Callaway here in the bottom of the sixth inning. We'll take a break, come back with more baseball from Bowling Green. The Bombcats lead the T-Birds 5-2 to two on Eagle 102. The Mercantile Bank of Louisiana is introducing Merc BK Mobile with the ability to take a picture of your check and deposit it into your Mercantile Bank account. You'll never have to worry about getting to the bank. Find more information by visiting MercBK.com. The Mercantile Bank, located on the corner of 3rd and Georgia Streets in downtown Louisiana. Member FDIC. Ingram Plumbing has always been known for its outstanding plumbing service. But did you know that Ingram's is also the largest retail plumbing supply store in the area? We carry Delta faucets, a complete line of Whirlpool tubs and showers, jacuzzi pumps, and many other specialty items. Stop by Ingram Plumbing today. Highway 61, Bowling Green. Here's one question that has no wrong answer. Are you going to choose the new Shell and Fuel Rewards card to be used at Shell stations? Or the Shell and Fuel Rewards MasterCard that can be used everywhere MasterCard is accepted? With both, you save 10 cents per gallon up to 20 gallons every time you fill up. And you also earn 10% rebates on your first $1,200 in non-fuel purchases per year at Shell stations. See? You can't go wrong with either. Visit www.shell.us slash get rewards and apply today. At participating Shell stations only. Terms and conditions apply. Bringing you all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. So the third baseman, Peasold, is the new pitcher. Sam moves over. Uh, Morris will move over to first. And Christian Griffith, I think, is the one that moves to third. So just a little shift on the infield to accommodate the pitching change as Sam Peasold will come in to a bases-loaded situation. In relief of Morris, Bowling Green has scored three runs to take a 5-2 lead here in this half inning. Morris leaves after five and a third. Gave up four hits. Five runs, four of them earned. Struck out six, walked six, and hit hit one batter. And the big air there. And the big air. (laughs) So the first batter that Peasold sees will be Lazier and he fouled it off his foot yep Lazier's one for two with the sacrifice bunt back in the third scored a run in the first put Bowling Green on top actually long time ago yes that was a long time ago <laughs> we're just after 6 30 here on a Tuesday oh one the count to Clay Lazier Bowling Green's gotten back to the top of the order and this one lifted high and out of play over the North Callaway dugout. Rolls on into a blanket on the ground on the hill. Nice throw from the little guy. He fired that one back in there. <laughs> Base is loaded, just one out. Lazier well, in the hole, 0 and 2. A couple of foul balls. Now he's ready again. Pease old from the full wind. Delivers. Lifted high. This one's going to stay in the field of play, I believe. In foul territory, making the catch is Morris for the second out. So Lazier retired on the Number foul five. out. Shortstop, Owen Niemeyer. And that'll bring in Owen Niemeyer. Niemeyer's got a single and RBI. That back in the third. Sacrifice bunt in the first and struck out in the fifth. And he's the ninth batter of the inning, isn't he? That he is. So Bowling Green is batted around here in the home half of the sixth, trying to set up a, a home opening victory. First pitch to Niemeyer. Hit in the air. Coming in on it is the right fielder in foul territory. He oh, makes the catch, catch with a sliding catch. Dandy. That is Kyle Pinnell out there to end the inning. Just off uh, frame if you're watching online. But uh, it strands Bowling Green's Bases loaded, but they push three across and head into the seventh up 5-2 on North Callaway on Eagle 102. Farmers, the crew at Mike's Tire and Service Center is here to serve you. They know the hours you put in, which makes it difficult to get that equipment in for service. Therefore, they offer on-the-farm tire repair. Hi, folks. My name is Cody Kirkendall of Mike's Tire and Service Center, located on Business Highway 61 in Bowling Green. 
It's a great time to buy or sell a home. I'm Vicki Cadwalder, and I take pride in offering skills that make the process go smoothly from beginning to end. Even after closing, I enjoy staying in touch and being there to help you if you have any other needs or questions. During the process, I'll work closely with your lender and other professionals to make it as effortless as possible. I'm here with you every step of the way, so when you're ready to buy or sell, call me and we'll create a personalized plan just for you. Vicki Cadwalder Real Estate, loving our small town life. Hear all the action from the Eagle 102 broadcast booth, sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. So Chandler uh, back out there for the seventh. He's at 92 pitches right now. And I'm sure he's thrilled with those three runs to give them a little bit of a cushion here as he'll have to face the top of the order here in the top of the seventh. He was in on that, crossed the plate for one of those three runs in the bottom half of the sixth. That he was. And it'll be at the top of the order, Woods, and P's Hold, and O'Neill. Has to be efficient here in the top of the seventh inning if he wants to stay in this game and misses high on the first one. Overcooked that fastball to Davis Woods. Woods walked in the first and struck out in the second and in the fourth. There's a strike called. Even to count of one and one on pitch number 94. That one fouled out of play. One ball, two strikes all the way to yeah, the shortstop area of the softball <laughs> diamond. First foul ball has gone that direction. Uh-huh. That's what happens when a lefty's late, right? There you go. A one-two. Outside. Two and two. Got to get this leadoff hitter. Keep him off base. Mm Mm-hmm. Two-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with the fastball for the first out. One down, two to go. He's had Woods' number all night. Six strike out of the game for... Chandler up against four walks and two hit batsmen. And with that being pitch number 97. I think they're going to pitch count him. Home plate umpire talking. They're debating about, are there, is it about the rule? You can go over the pitch count as long as you start the inning under. I believe. We're assuming the pitch count's 100. Yeah. We'll see. We're going to learn something tonight here, folks, right along with you. First pitch is called a strike to Sam Peasold. He's the pitcher now in relief of Morris. 0-1, 0-2 on the outside corner. Good pitch there from Caden Chandler trying to go to the distance. Hadn't lost any velocity. No, he hasn't. At all. The 0-2 took something off Mm. and out in front of it. Was Peasold swinging a miss for the second out. Big curveball that time. And Chandler has struck out the first two and will face Braden O'Neill, the final hope for North Callaway. O'Neill has a uh, strikeout in the first and walked twice, both in the second and in the fifth. Misses the outside corner on the first pitch to O'Neill, 1 0. Long look from the full wind. Chandler delivers, and that one misses low. 2-0. and Don't want to give him any hope here. Nope. Make him hit to play. 2-0. Up high, 3-0. and What bat could change with this get-over fastball here? We'll see if O'Neal has the green light to swing away. 3-0. and Surely not, and they're just going to put him on. Yep, intentional walk of O'Neal. Pitch the, number 104. Be the fifth walk of the game. Saving him a pitch, huh? So we don't know what, still don't know what the pitch count yeah. is. Yeah. So that brings in the right fielder, Kyle Pinnell. Hit by a pitch, ground back to the pitcher, and ground out to the short. So he's swinging a mess. Over for 2 so far. One after the high heat there on the first one. The 0-1. Make it 0-2. On another swing and a miss by Pinnell. And 
North Callaway down to their final strike. Runner takes their lead off of first. The 0-2 pitch. Off speed. Swung on and missed. And that's the ball game. Bowling Green wins this one 5-2 thanks to a three-run at bottom of the sixth inning. We'll be back with the postgame show for you after this on KJFM. Community State Bank of Missouri in Bowling Green and Troy, where the number one priority is the customer and adding new services to help simplify your life and building a strong, high-performance financial services organization. Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, your community bank since 1887, member FDIC. Here's one question that has no wrong answer. Are you going to choose the new Shell and Fuel Rewards card to be used at Shell stations or the Shell and Fuel Rewards MasterCard that can be used everywhere MasterCard is accepted? With both, you save 10 cents per gallon up to 20 gallons every time you fill up. And you also earn 10% rebates on your first $1,200 in non-fuel purchases per year at Shell stations. See? You can't go wrong with either. Visit www.shell.us slash get rewards and apply today. At participating Shell stations only. Terms and conditions apply. Show off your school pride today with the Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Every time you use your Bulldog Debit Card, Bank of Louisiana will make a donation to the Louisiana School District. Stop by the bank today and get your new Bulldog Debit Card so you can start supporting the teachers and students with every swipe. The Bulldog Debit Card from Bank of Louisiana. Member FDIC. Hi County, Missouri Health Department is accepting appointments for upcoming COVID vaccination clinics. Appointments can be made online at www.pikecountyhealth.org or by calling our office at 573-324-2111. These will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Stay up to date with more clinics by subscribing to our PCHD e-news. If you do not have internet access, please call our office and ask how we can help you stay informed. Need a little good news in your life? State Farm has new, lower car insurance rates in Missouri, so you can now get the service and convenience of State Farm agent Cindy Blaylock at an even better price. Call me today at 573-754-5575. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bringing you all the action from the Eagle 102 Broadcast Booth. Sponsored by Family Drug in Louisiana. Time now for the Eagle 102 Post Game Show on KJFM. Sponsored by Abel's Quick Shops. Bowling Green with three runs in the bottom of the sixth. Down North Callaway in their home opener. Five to two is mm-hmm. our final. And uh, Jim Ross, pretty fun baseball game. You know, we, we had a kind of a slow start, but uh, ramped up to a big finish. It was. Both pitchers struggled early. And uh, if you look at look at the first couple of innings for Chandler, he stranded six batters. Uh, they left the bases loaded twice, did North Callaway in that first and second inning. Or it could have been a whole different whole different ball game but he was able to wiggle out of it and ended up striking out 10 in the game walked five had two hit batsmen only gave up four hits so not a bad effort at all by the number one arm for bowling green caden chandler and he, he can he can tell everyone that he hit 107 tonight not on the radar gun but <laughs> his pitch count 107 yeah. to get the complete game victory yeah, that's, so we really don't know what the limit is yet <laughs> yeah. well, well, i guess we'll have to crack open a book and see see uh exactly how that uh, pitch rule works and uh, uh but uh you know bowling green got some uh contributions uh, from different parts of the order tonight we didn't see that uh when we did the game at uh, louisiana it was one through five did all the damage today they they were able to get some contributions from all parts of this uh nine man they order. did they got rbis uh out of heidecker and twoman out of the eight and nine hole as well as niemeyer and and keel who, who you would expect to, to drive in runs and uh, tough luck pitching for Morris. You yeah, know? I mean, he, had, he, he threw well. Uh, he only gave up four hits, but he walked six, hit one, had a big error. You know, that, that kind of opened the floodgates there in that sixth inning and allowed Bowling Green to score uh, three runs and take take the lead. 5-2, our final Bowling Green over North Callaway. We'll take a break, come back, and wrap up this uh, broadcast in a minute on Eagle 102. Here's one question that has no wrong answer. Are you going to choose the new Shell and Fuel Rewards card to be used at Shell stations or the Shell and Fuel Rewards MasterCard that can be used everywhere MasterCard is accepted? With both, you save 10 cents per gallon up to 20 gallons every time you fill up. And you also earn 10% rebates on your first $1,200 in non-fuel purchases per year at Shell stations. See? You can't go wrong with either. Visit www.shell.us slash get rewards and apply today. At participating Shell stations only, terms and conditions apply. 
Bowling Green Tractor wants to change the way you think about yard work with their Ego 56-volt arc lithium battery-powered lawnmowers, weed eaters, blowers, trimmers, and chainsaws. At Bowling Green Tractor, you can walk in and see for yourself just how easy these products are to handle. Bowling Green Tractor, your home for Ego. Power beyond belief. Sailor and Satellite Center is the only stop you need to make when it comes to satellite providers, offering direct TV and dish network along with antenna installs. Now, a special message from Matthew Niemeyer himself. If you call an 800 number and they say we will be the local installer, they are wrong. Contact Matthew at Sailor and Satellite Center in Bowling Green, your local authorized dealer. Is it time to renew, redo, or rebuild? I'm Christine Rutherford, and we have loans designed specifically for repairs and renovations, along with home equity lines of credit. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender, MLO number 421603, NMLS number 407724. Erie's best coverage of high school sports is on Eagle 102. Brought to you by Pike County Health Department, Home Health and Hospice, and all parts. North Callaway scored single tallies in the top of the second and top of the fifth. That answered uh, runs from Bowling Green in the bottom of the first and bottom of the third. But Bowling Green got three in the bottom of the sixth to win this game 5-2 to two behind the pitching of Caden Chandler and contributions throughout the order. Bowling Green goes to 1-0 and oh here at, uh, at home on this beautiful uh, ball diamond at Bowling Green High School. Yeah, good win, good conference win against one of the upper tier teams in the conference as well so uh a good thing good way to start the week right yeah that's uh, what puts them at uh two and three two and three on the year two and three uh but uh it had two and one in the conference right is that right uh let's they see lost yeah. to yes that'd be right they beat louisiana and lost to ellsbury the two other games were centre and palmyra which are non-conference games so yeah you're right two and two and one in league yeah two and one in league two and Three overall for uh, Bowling Green, and they go to one and zero here at uh, at home in this uh, 2021 baseball season. It's just good to have baseball back, though. That it is a nice uh, warm day, Not full freezing sunshine. cold. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is it was it was nice today as uh, Bowling Green uh, gets the uh, late rally to win this one five to two. That'll wrap things up. We'll be back with more baseball for you on Thursday from uh, Clopton High School, as I believe they're taking on the uh, Ellsbury Indians, the Clopton Ellsbury. Ellsbury matchup on uh, Thursday, 445 pregame, 5 o'clock first pitch. Uh, so we'll see you then for more baseball here on KJFM. For Jim Ross, Mark Fronick saying good night from Bowling Green High School as the Bobcats win 5-2 to two over North Callaway on Eagle 102. From KJFM Louisiana Bowling Green, this is Eagle 102, broadcasting 24-7, 365. KJFM Radio, Eagle 102.